Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Kuzgamer 25, and tonight we are here live for some CJM. Tonight's gonna be a crazy show, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in Glendale, Arizona. We're gonna start the night off right. We're gonna start the night off with some action, of course, after we run down through the card. As you can see here, the first match of the night is going to be Lana versus the newly signed Lacey Evans here in her second ever matchup in CJM. As Lacey Evans lost to Nikki Cross last week, or I'm sorry, the week before, and the go-home show to, to Destiny. Now we're going to see what's going to happen between Lana and Lacey Evans. As the next match is a singles match between Sammy Callahan and Pete Dunne. We're going to see what's going to happen with these two here tonight. It's going to be interesting in a singles match between these two. I don't think these two have faced before, but we're going to see how will everything go tonight, especially with all these tag team uh, members here at ringside. Then next we have Casey Catanzaro versus Naomi. A good matchup to win this here tonight. These two best friends, I guess you can say, well, they're gonna have to face each other tonight, no doubt about it. And now it's gonna be the newly signed Rich Swan versus Mustafa Ali, our USA champion, is in a non-title match here tonight, facing off Rich Swan. It's gonna be interesting to see Rich Swan versus Ali, two high flyers in their own right. What they're gonna bring to the table is probably gonna be nothing but phenomenal. But the main event for tonight, it is gonna be Baron Corbin, the Constable, versus Andrade. Now, this is special, special stipulation on the line here. If Baron Corbin loses to Andrade tonight, he will lose his Constable position. Triple H has said Corbin's been making some bad decisions, and he doesn't like the way that he's helping them assist in his ways in CJM. And Triple H said, you know what? I'll give you a second chance. If you want this job, you fight for it. And you're fighting Andrade in the main event of CJM. So we're gonna run down through the card first here tonight. Lacey Evans defeats Lana in that match in their first encounter. But now onto this one. Sammy Callahan defeats Pete Dunne. And I think there's a bit of controversy that went down with that match. We're gonna have to see what happens there. I don't know, but nonetheless, we're gonna go to this next match. Triple H, look, I'll fix things, I promise. I, I know I haven't been doing my job right. I know that I've been doing some bad decisions, but look, listen for a second. No, Corbin, the time for talk is done. I made the match official. It is you versus Andrade in the main event of CJM, and that's final. This is my second chance, though, Hunter making me fight Andrade to keep my job? Why? Why do I deserve this? Because, Corbin, you clearly saw that Nikki Cross was clear to compete and you didn't make the match a triple threat. You always want to take apart the talent such as Andrade. You always want to insert yourself in the main title picture, which I get it, you're also a competitor, but your job com comes first, honestly. Forget about everything else. How do you think I feel? I have to deal with my job every single time. And I'm not out here hitting talents in the face or, or arguing with any of them. Hunter, I know that this is going to sound crazy, but just please let me keep my job. I love what I do. Well, if you love what you do, you're going to have to prove it to me out there in that ring. Fine. I'll beat Andrade tonight. And then after that, I'll still be the constable that you want me to be. All right. But listen, Hunter, I have a plan. I have an idea. Okay. But first, the cameras have to stop rolling here. Okay. All right. Fine. Cameras. That's it. No more. Get out of the office right now. All right. Triple H. Look, I have this idea. Right. All right, here we go with this match. As, oh my goodness, look at this new setup for Casey Catanzaro here tonight. As she is pretty excited to be in this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen Casey Catanzaro do 
A lot of work against many a talent here in CJM, but now she faces Naomi. Will Tadanzaro feel the glow here tonight? Or, well, I don't know, will we see kind of an upset win as uh, Casey Tadanzaro new to the season? Will she defeat Naomi, who's been here since day one? I don't know, that's gonna be quite a feat if she does that. And here is Naomi. Naomi, a big top star here in CJM, no doubt about it. Obviously one of the most beloved women here in the brand. I mean, obviously any brand that she goes to, people always want her as the next champ. Obviously, you know, Naomi hasn't had a championship ever in any season of Universe Mode, sadly, but she looks to at least hold the gold in this season. Let's see if that's possible here tonight. Well, not tonight tonight, but you know, in the nights of CJM or in the nights of the pay-per-views leading up, who knows? I'm glad that Naomi's here tonight against Casey Catanzaro. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Referee rings the bell and these two are gonna start off. Oh, what a high kick to the face now. And now tossing down Casey Catanzaro. And now hold on, oh, again tossing down Casey Catanzaro. Big form strike and now these two fighting for position. Hold on, oh my goodness, big clothesline to the outside. Using her agility, her speed. To take down her opponent, hold on. Oh, smashing the leg there. Oh, missed it. Naomi now reversing. No. These two are so quick to reverse. Hold on. Lupez press on the outside. Naomi really putting a number right on Casey Catanzaro here tonight. And now, oh my God, another high kick. Those kicks have really knocked you out there. And look, Casey's getting back inside the ring, and so is Naomi. Hold on. Off the ropes they go. And... Another Lutas press. Naomi impressing everybody here tonight. And now, hold on. A cover is being made. Referee cover one. No, kick out there. And now, big kick right to the back. Naomi now. I don't know. She's working on the head here. I don't know what she's doing, but it looks to be effective. Hold on. Again, working on the head. Very smart is Naomi. She's not a foolish competitor she's been here for a long time she has the experience she knows what it's like to go through these sort of things and now Naomi throws her to the corner oh drop kick missed it Casey Canizaro with that counter and now that head scissors takedown now raising the arm up almost in victory but she hasn't won yet I don't think she should uh, celebrate that quickly here tonight Oh, no, no. The shots right to the gut. Inflicting all this damage right on Casey Catanzaro. Now off the ropes again. No, no. To the turnbuckle they go. Reversal by Catanzaro. And now Irish rip to Naomi right on the apron. She hangs on. Is she going to fall off? No, she's going to bring her back inside the ring. Oh, my. Flicking the kick right to her head there. Naomi, I mean, I don't see any woman stronger with the strikes than Naomi in this brand oh my goodness down she goes for that split-legged moonsault taking down Cananzaro will she make her feel the glow here tonight I don't know it seems like everybody in attendance at Glendale Arizona does though hold on backstabber no reversing that and now oh my big kick Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, oh my, a creative submission hold by Naomi here. She looks to make Catanzaro taps, and Catanzaro taps out. Naomi 
with the inc impressive, I should say, uh, performance against Casey Catanzaro. What a submission hold that was. Look at that right there, that kick to the gut. And uh, rolling through with that submission hold. I thought it was going to be a pin. I thought it was going to be something else. Maybe, I don't know, a pile driver, a power bomb, but no. Casey Catanzaro tapping out to Naomi's submission hold right here tonight. And Naomi with a big win. Everybody celebrating with her here tonight. We know that Naomi is a future star. Nonetheless, she's a future champion, in my opinion. What an impressive performance again. Now, I'm glad you're in my office, Payton and Billy, because I have a huge announcement. Since at True Destiny, uh, it was unbelievable. You shocked the world and shocked basically everybody by defeating the duo of Trish Stratus and Lita, the two legends in this business. And Payton, since you earned the pinfall against Trish, Payton, at Unforgiven, I'm awarding you a title shot against Kyrie Sane for the female TakeOver Championship. Now, with this being said, Kyrie Sane is going to compete, but Nikki Cross is going to accompany her to the ring. So Kyrie Sane has backup in Nikki Cross, and you know how crazy Nikki Cross can get, okay? So you two will be out there in that ring, and so will Nikki Cross and Kyrie Sane. I don't know how that two you know two will work out but I do know that Nikki wants a title shot and that's why she's staying so close to the champ so beware as this alliance might not last for long but it might just might give you the upper hand at Unforgiven so good luck to you at, at your title match oh my god there you go Payton Weiss gets a title shot up against Kyrie Sane but Nikki Cross is gonna be in Kyrie Sane's corner? How, how's that gonna work? We'll just have to find out. And now, we're gonna go to this match. Here he is, he's back ladies and gentlemen. This time on a different brand, it's Rich Swan. Well, he's now on CJM, and I'm, well, kind of happy to have him here because he kind of brings uh, the mood up a little bit here in CJM. Rich Swan is excited to be here. I'm pretty sure that these fans here will love another star coming to this brand. Rich Swan seems very excited to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm glad that he's here to... Uh, I guess, have a great time. But he's gonna have to face a big opponent in our USA champion, Mustafa Ali. Well, uh, Mustafa Ali is quite a champion. He's beaten Randy Orton, and he's also beaten Johnny Gargano. the USA champion here is Mustafa Ali we already know this man is still our champion Mustafa Ali I mean quite honestly I think he's quite an underdog as champ everybody's happy that Mustafa Ali is the current USA champion and I'm glad so as well And now here we go, we have this matchup. For the first time ever, Mustafa Ali versus Rich Swan here tonight, non-title match. We're gonna see how these two go and you have to assume that Randy Orton has to be watching, lurking in the back, watching this match, obviously. And hold on, Rich Swan now gonna throw Mustafa Ali off the ropes there. Rich Swan with the counter, ducks under and now Oh, miscommunication. Now these two back at it yet again. Now referee looking to try to separate these two here. Looking for a clean break, and there it is. Clean break from these two men. 
like I said, top tier high flyer Rich Swan and Mustafa Ali in the CJM brand. And now, oh God, using that arm to wrench it back and throw it down there. Very smart is Rich Swan, and now, nope. Countered that big right hand, Mustafa Ali going for the arm there, working the arm, and now trying to, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Rich Swan now with the punches right to the gut. Very smart to utilize those punches, but gets thrown to the outside on the apron. And now Rich Swan with that taunt, telling him to bring it. And I bet you Mustafa Ali will. Oh, big hurricane runner there from Mustafa Ali. Big kick as well. Mustafa Ali bringing his A game right to CJM. Look out, brings him down there. A very smart talent. And Mustafa Ali, oh, there's that elbow shot rocking him right onto the apron. And what the hell is this? Oh, my goodness. What an assisted power bomb. No, but a kick out there. An assisted sit-out power bomb by Mustafa Ali. Very smart to utilize the ropes. I haven't seen that maneuver at all. Now just stomping on Rich Swan. Big leg drop drops it down. And now Mustafa Ali with that taunt telling Rich Swan to bring it. And now, oh my God, there's that. Oh, German suplex from Mustafa Ali. We've seen what Mustafa Ali can do. The 054, the Spanish fly, the 450. Everything and anything he'll do to put away his opponents. And whoa, look at this. What is he going to utilize here? Hold on a second. Mustafa Ali going through the middle ropes. Oh my God, planting his face right onto the canvas. Mustafa Ali looks about ready to utilize the 054 in tonight's match. And oh no, counter there by Rich Swan. Rich Swan with the counter. Counters the 054. Rich Swan now has a hold. And look at these strikes. Bang, the knee right to the chin. Big kick to the gut. Rich Swan, Fisherman, oh, brain buster by Rich Swan. What a comeback match this will be, beating the champ if he can do it here tonight. Oh my, clotheslines him in the corner. Will he, can he beat the champ? That's the question. Mustafa Ali, I mean, what a hell of a battle he did with Randy Orton at Backlash. Now going into this match, fighting Rich Swan here in CJM. Rich Swan gets out of that submission hold. Big kick to the gut. Now, hold on. Looking for another sit-out power bomb right there. But no, too close to the ropes. Rich Swan grabbed the bottom rope there. Very smart by Mustafa. I mean by Rich Swan. Oh my God! Super kick right to the chin. And now Rich Swan. No, he gets put in the corner instead of his opponent. Rich Swan now trying to fight back, putting his opponent in the corner. And now what? What is he gonna do? Look at this, Tree of Woe by Rich Swan. What the hell is he, oh my God, what is he, do what is Rich Swan doing? No way he's gonna do a Tree of Woe here with the coast to coast, oh my God. Rich Swan is gonna risk it all, look at him, oh my God. Down, both of these men go in this match. My goodness. What a hell of a maneuver, coast to coast. Rich Swan to beat the champ in his first match here in CJM. No, what a kick out. So close. So close by Rich Swan almost beating Mustafa Ali here tonight. Look out, puts him in the corner, gets hit there. Oh no, big back kick. He did not expect that kick, I'll tell you that. Now hold on, Rich Swan throws, oh, Mustafa Ali to the outside. And now Rich Swan going to the outside with Mustafa Ali. What is going to happen here? Environmental damage could be so much. And they try to trade blows there, and now Rich Swan going to slam his face right onto the apron. And now Rich Swan, where, where is he going to take? He's going to put him back inside the ring. Okay, very smart there by Rich Swan. And now, hold on. Oh, my God. Wait a second. Rich Swan, look at this. Oh, my big splash right to Mustafa Ali. 
My goodness! And referee restarts the count and now gets thrown back inside the ring. One has to question, will that be it? Will that pin Mustafa Ali? Will it be over from here? Bang, down he goes! That's it, that's gotta be it. What, how is Mustafa Ali standing after all these maneuvers he's been taking? There's no way, there's no way. Oh my God, 450, the same maneuver that beat Randy Orton at Backlash. Cover one, two, three. And it beat Rich Swan here tonight. What a matchup. Mustafa Ali out of nowhere with the 450 taking Rich Swan out. Mustafa Ali here tonight making sure that he's letting everybody know in the attendance in the crowd that he's still the USA champion. And a proud one at that. Well, he should get his title right now. And now Mustafa Ali, I mean, obviously, what the hell? Oh my God! You gotta be freaking kidding me, that's Randy Orton! Come on! Come on, he took the jacket off. Randy, just, what are you doing, Randy? Come on! Stop this hellacious assault on Mustafa Ali! Come on, even at Backlash, these two men went to war with each other, and now, look at this, Randy Orton throwing Mustafa Ali right onto the barricade. And Randy Orton now, oh my God, come on. Again, just throwing down Mustafa Ali, throwing him into the steps. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely insane that this man would do this. No, 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 not to the floor there, please. Oh my God. Randy Orton on a non-stop rampage to take down Mustafa Ali. You gotta be kidding me, this is absolutely horrible. Oh, the bar. I'm glad I caught up to you guys. Listen, um, I wanna know what's going on. Are you gonna have your rematch at Unforgiven? I wanna get to the bottom of this. Whoa, 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 first of all, hold on. You don't just come bum-rushing us here just to let us know what's going on around here with our title shot because we know and you don't okay we are having our rematch next week on cjm because we're not waiting for unforgiven unlike randy orton unlike finn balor unlike any other challenger we want the titles now and next week oh you best believe Next week, the War Raiders are going to really regret doing what they did to us, embarrassing us at Backlash. Next week, we're taking the titles back, and the Bar are going to become the two-time United Tag Team Champions. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, I guess we'll wish you good luck on your match next week. Back to you guys down to commentary. And now the main event. Here is the constable, Baron Corbin. And if he loses, well, he's not the constable no longer. He's been having issues with Almas. This is the perfect opponent to try to keep his job. Baron Corbin obviously uh, knowing that he's been trying his best as constable. Another decision he's been blamed for, which you probably heard of earlier, was that Nikki Cross was clear to compete after Lacey Evans attacked Candice, I mean, Lacey Evans attacked Nikki Cross, but instead, instead of making the match a triple threat at True Destiny, Baron Corbin allowed it to be a singles match between Candice Lee Ray and Kyrie Sane. And I don't know why, but Baron Corbin obviously didn't explain it. And, well, another decision is Baron Corbin 
he, his hatred towards some talent here. I mean, obviously, uh, to Andrade. But Baron Corbin needs to really think how he's going to do this match here tonight because if he loses, he might as well just lose his role as the constable. Well, here he is. Here's Andrade. Selena Vega, of course, accompanying Andrade to the ring. You know that Andrade would like nothing but to take out Corbin as the constable. He messed around with Andrade, made a lot of things that Andrade did not want to happen, especially during his reign as CJM champion. And well, Zelina Vega was a part of that rule-making decision. She had to fight Viper just because, and that wasn't part of due to Corbin's ruling. Well, we know now that Andrade seems to be here tonight a little bit of some change, as you all should know. But that's not going to stop him from taking down his opponent no matter what. Andrade, of course, going in the ring first. Letting Zelina Vega stay on the outside. Still will be at ringside for his matchup though, so Corbin has to be very careful when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Andrade. We've seen it time and time again, him and Zelina Vega's obviously uh, partnership. Here we go, the sound of the bell here to start off the night. Oh, Andrade, oh my God. We're running uppercut there from Andrade as Corbin trying to go for a running clothesline. These two are going to go at it right away. We know the hatred between these two men. As, oh, big right hand there. Corbin now, oh my God, end of days right away to, uh, to Andrade. Two, and, oh, oh my God, a slight kick out there. Can you imagine if Corbin beats a former CJM champion? Oh my God, picks him up, power bomb there. Look at the height difference between Corbin and Andrade. Oh, big clothesline. Good hurricane runner there. And now Andrade, look at this. Going to pick up Corbin, but no, Corbin with that reversal, able to reverse anything that Andrade throws at him. Andrade, uh, I don't know. Oh, my God. Is he going for another end of days? You gotta be freaking kidding me! There's no way! Oh no, Andrade with the reversal! Andrade, oh, oh, big kick there to the gut. And oh my, running Hurricane Rana! That's gonna take him out. But Corbin nonetheless trying to fight back. Obviously, if your job was on the line. Why wouldn't you try to fight back? That's, that's what you need to do if your job was on the line. And now, what is he? What is Corbin doing here tonight? What he? Oh my God! He's using the ropes to his advantage. Kind of smart, but does not work out the way he wants it to. Uppercut, no, gets countered by Andrade. Andrade now. Good. Oh my God! Hammerlock DDT already right to Corbin. Hammerlock DDT pins him. Will it be the win? No. Fighting for his job, while Andrade's fighting for pride. Anybody would like to put away Corbin as, oh, as Constable, but Andrade might be the man to do it. As Corbin now irate at this point, as Andrade's hanging on, oh, big spear to the outside. And now picks up Andrade, and uh, obviously maybe trying to restart the count there. I don't know what he was trying to do. I think he's playing mind games with Andrade at this point. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh my goodness, look at this. German suplex right on top of the ramp there. And Andrade leaves him. And it's Andrade with the taunt. 
Very smart move by that man right there. And here he comes back inside the ring. Here comes Corbin. Uh-oh, hold on. Drops him right on the back of the knee. And now the cover has been in place. Hold on. We'll be over from here. Now only a one count from, from the referee. Corbin kicks out. And Corbin doing a lot of rolling out of this match. Hold on. Irish whip to the corner. Almas big knee. No. Corbin reversing. Corbin now got the arm. Almas with the big right hand. Or Andrade, sorry. And now picks him up. Oh, my God. He picked him up. Drops him to the side. He's got, he's got that move saved ever since he faced Braun Strowman at WrestleMania. And now Andrade looking to silence the constable. Oh my God, he had to leap high in the air for that one. As now he might put Corbin out of the job. Here we go. Hammerlock, DDT right to Corbin. That's it. It looks like we've got no constable anymore. What? Corbin kicks out. Corbin kicked out, and Andrade seems pretty upset. Triple H said, you got to fight for your job. Corbin wants to do that here tonight. Big counter by Corbin. Big clothesline by Corbin. Onto the outside, they go once again. It looks like these two are going to really fight it out here tonight. Like I said, the rivalry has just been building up so much ever since Corbin became constable. And now big... Andrade gets caught. Oh my God, Andrade! Wait a. Andrade, look out! He reversed it into the hammerlock DDT. Andrade caught him. One, two, three. Corbin loses his position as Constable as Andrade defeats him here tonight. Look at that right there, the hammerlock DDT. He hooked the arm quick. He got the win, and that's. Most important here tonight. Oh my God, Corbin's lost this job to Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, the constable is no more. He's just Baron Corbin now. Well, now he's just an active competitor. There's no general manager or no rule making for Corbin any longer. Andrade, you know what? You know what? I know I just lost this match right now, but even though it makes me not constable anymore for this brand, I still love my job and I'm giving you what you want. I'm giving you a match at a pay-per-view. What? Corbin's rewarding Andrade for beating him tonight? That's right, Andrade. My last decision as constable in CJM before you beat me tonight was to make you have a match at Unforgiven. A match at Unforgiven that you'll never forget. It is going to be a Mexican death match because we're going to be live for Unforgiven in Mexico. Therefore, your opponent will be this man. Who's Corbin talking about? What? Who's going to face Andrade at Unforgiven? What the? You gotta be kidding me. What? It, it is Ch That's Chavo Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero's here. in CJM. He's in the building. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Chavo is here. Chavo Guerrero. This is absolutely shocking. This is a huge surprise for everybody in attendance here tonight. Chavo Guerrero will face Andrade at Unforgiven live in Mexico. Oh my goodness, Chavo's excited to be here tonight. Well, he has a Mexican death match against Andrade at Unforgiven. And Andrade can't even believe it. Believe it. He's running around with his hands on his head. He can't believe it. Oh, Andrade. Look, I knew you were a big star in this company, and I knew you had a lot of potential in the world to be the next face of CJM, but there's one problem, Andrade. You 
disgrace the Lucha Libre name. You put a bad taste in everybody's mouths when Lucha Libre is brought up. You, just like many of your allies and friends, make the Lucha name a disgraceful name to put into people's mouths. Andrade, I'm here to not only beat the respect out of you, but to make you see the light of these people and to make you realize that Lucha Libre is more than just a style. It's a lifestyle, Andrade. You disappoint the fans, you disappoint me. Hell, you disappoint anybody that ever donned a mask and has wrestled Lucha Libre in a long time. You even disappoint Eddie Guerrero. You know what, Chavo? I'm Eddie's replacement. I'm better than Eddie. And you're jealous because Eddie was always better than you. What? Oh my god! Chavo, look out! Look and look with this! Glory ball from Chavo! Chavo, I think he's heading up to the top. I think he's going to pay homage to Eddie here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. Sounds like he's going to pay tribute to Eddie here tonight. Wait a second. Andrade is getting up. And Andrade is getting out of here. You got to be kidding me. Chavo trying to stick up for the Lucha Libre style. And Andrade not having any of it. Seeing that he's Eddie's replacement. You got to be kidding me. Such a disgraceful act. We need to beat the respect into Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. Chavo Guerrero versus Andrade Mexican Deathmatch live in Mexico at Unforgiven. Oh my, there's our CJM champion EC3 and he has a few words for his challenger at Unforgiven. Finn Balor, you're my challenger at Unforgiven. And right now, I like to say something to you, but since I know you're a coward, I know you won't come out here and talk to me man to man. So I'll just say it right here, right now, in front of disgusting people here tonight. I'm sorry, you said what now, EC3? Oh, it, Finn Balor is walking down the ramp to talk to EC3 man to man. I guess that's what he wanted. EC3, you said I'm not a man. Well... I'm coming here to prove myself to you right here right now so what do you have to say EC3 we're face to face right now in here in this lovely lovely place all right now you're just trying to get the cheap pop there Balor listen you are not championship material you are not world championship material okay that's why you haven't held a world title in a long long time how long has it been Balor how long has it been how's it feel you know what EC3 I'm not even mad I had the chance to become a pure wrestling champion I had a chance to be Mr. Money in the Bank oh yeah how did that go Mr. Money in the Bank you lost it to Kenny Omega and how did the pure wrestling title reign go you were a transitional champion one pay-per-view not even you know what, EC3, all of that makes me want to fight you even more at Unforgiven. Me and you are going to fight. Me and you are going to go to war. I'm going to go to hell and back to get that CJM championship around my waist. Don't mess with me. I'm the longest reigning USA champion. You know what nine pay-per-views in a row mean? It means a lot. It means that you have that target on your back but you shut down everybody in your way oh really I'm glad that worked out for you too you see if you'd be bragging about your USA title reign you would have still have held it up to right now but I guess not I guess you came up just a little bit short to your opponent that beat you which by the way he's not in the title scene at all so he's irrelevant all right just like many other stars in this brand, I can go on and on. You know what? EC3, if you want to face me so bad and to beat me so bad, why don't you do it here tonight? 
Whoa, 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 Finn Balor. I'm not going to get my suit dirty because of you. Like I said, you're not worth my time. I'm worth more than this. I'm the CJM champion. I'm the world champ right now. I'm on top of the mountain. I've never gotten this successful before in my career. Yeah, you're right, EC3. Because they never pushed you. Because they never had confidence in you as world champ. That's why they put you number one in the Royal Rumble a long time ago. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember. You know what? I don't even care. Because that, that that's irrelevant right now. What's relevant is me as world champ right now. And you standing in front of me without a championship. So don't even talk to me when it comes to that. These two are good. What the? What the hell? Wait a second. These two are going back and forth. Talking trash. It's Johnny Gargano. What the hell is he doing here? We haven't seen Johnny Gargano since he lost the USA Championship to Mustafa Ali back at Cyber Sunday. What is he doing out here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my goodness, Johnny Gargano is here tonight. Gargano, what are you doing out here? Listen, Balor and EC3, I'm here because I want to take my opportunity. I want to take something that belongs to you, that shouldn't even belong to you because you stole it. I want the CJM Championship. Whoa, whoa, Gargano. Slow down. I am the number one contender to EC3's title. Yeah, you got put in that match because you're privileged here in CJM. Look, from now on and this point going forward, Johnny Gargano doesn't answer to anybody. I take what I want, whether the fans are behind it or not. I want that title, and you or you cannot stop me from getting it. You're not even in the match, Gargano. How could you possibly come out here and say that you want the title? You're not in the match. That's what I'm saying. You see, one of Corbin's mess-ups was that he didn't book me in the match. I've been ready to go a long time. That match with Mustafa Ali changed me and changed my ways and made me realize what I need to do to be champ. I need to be more ruthless. I need to be more relentless when it comes to this. When I step in this ring, from now on, it's Johnny freaking wrestling, not anybody else. Gargano, like I said, if you want this opportunity, you're not going to get it this easy. I'm the number one contender. It's going to be me and EC3 in a hell in a cell match at Unforgiven one-on-one -on -one with the steel surrounding the ring. That's great and all, but I know if I was in that match, I beat the both of you. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll just show a slight little demonstration here tonight. Oh, oh my God, what the hell? Johnny Gargano is beating up on Finn Balor. I think, oh goodness, EC3 just left the ring. He doesn't want any part of this. Dodging out of harm's way, EC3, I guess you could say the smartest idea. Oh my God, Big and Zaguri. Finn Balor running out of the ring. Look out, oh my God. Johnny Gargano dumping out. Finn Balor with a suicide dive as well. Now getting back inside the ring, Gargano is too concentrated on Balor. Well, EC3 is getting back inside the ring. He's going to hit Gargano with the title. Wait, Johnny Gargano. Oh, my God. Big kick right to the gut. Look out, Gargano. Oh, my goodness. Hitting EC3 right down onto the mat. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, my Gargano's not playing around right now. Johnny Gargano wants to finish things off. Look out. EC3 super kick right to the face. Johnny Gargano is livid. Gargano wants the title. And Gargano wants the title. He is livid here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Gargano is out here, here tonight to make a statement. I can't believe this, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this episode, please leave a like. Share with your friends. Look, I don't know what's happening here. Gargano's not in the match at, at Unforgiven. What's going to happen for Pure Wrestling? What's going to happen next week? I'll see you all for the next episode.